first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Today we're going to be working on a GE profile. The problem that we're having with this refrigerator is that it's making a loud noise coming from the refrigerator. The model number is on the display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start by letting you hear the noise that it's making because it's a little confusing because it's two fan motors. It's one fan motors who controls the air that blows around the uh, refrigerator side. And it's another fan motor that comes with a damper that is the one that throws the cold air to the uh, bottom drawer which is like a chiller drawer for vegetables or or meat and things like that so as you can hear on the video that is the noise that it's making do you have to verify if it's coming from the uh, um, refrigerator evaporator fan motor or the um, bottom drawer um, ref uh, refrigerator damper and fan assembly normally when when it's the um, refrigerator fan refrigerator evaporator fan it just stops and it doesn't blow anymore but it could be a possibility that it will make that rattling sound so you would have to remove the drawers take it apart and physically see where the noise is coming from which of the fans it's coming from as you see this drawer it, it has a female to male um, disassembly and that's how you remove it Now you remove this uh, piece of glass with the frame. This is the frame who holds the um, the drawers. Now we're gonna need the drill with a quarter bit, um, one quarter bit, or a screwdriver, one quarter. Gotta be careful with this piece of the panel because it has the digital um, touchpad and it's, that's the harness that connects the uh, touchpad for the uh, display. Let's put it away. And this piece just will come right out. Now, in this case, we are going to go ahead and remove this piece of the frame to be able to access to the uh, back um, panel where the fan motors are. As you see, you remove a uh, fillet screws and that male to female hook is the one who, who secures the back and the front is secured by the back is secured by that male to female and the front is secured by that screw as I show you on the video. Now we're going to go ahead and start removing the front, sorry about that with the camera. And remove all six screws that holds the um, evaporator cover. Now this piece is the cover for the evaporator uh, fan motor housing you have to put some uh, weight on the uh, that piece you put your finger right there put some pressure on it and it will release the tab and it will come right out as you see on the picture on the video that is the uh, harness for the uh, evaporator fan motor which we believe that's not the problem on this case it's another screw right there by the harness we remove the uh, 
evaporator cover when we, re when we remove the evaporator cover we can see another harness that is the harness for the uh, bottom drawer and fan motor and damper I said fan motor and damper because it's one piece they will not sell just the damper or the fan motor they will sell both because they both go to attach to the same harness and that is the piece that we are gonna be replacing today just turn off the light because the door alarm was driving me crazy as I was saying guys this is the part that we are replacing today that is the fan motor that one is making the noise this is the brand new fan motor and damper and I suggest uh, take a picture before you remove the old one um, in case you have any uh, problem you just go and look at the picture and and put it just the way you take it out now I'm reading here a labor that is a piece of a styrofoam that says uh, remove the old piece of styrofoam and use the, the new one that comes in the box the reason why it says that is because 90% of the time the old piece of a styrofoam when you remove it it will crack or it will uh, break in pieces in this case what I did is, is a piece of a, like a phone glue phone and as you see I removed the piece and two of the little uh, legs from the uh, styrofoam piece break so we will have to install the brand new piece of a styrofoam see I removed the damper and then I removed the fan motor and will come right out this is the old part and right next to it I got the brand new old part now we put the old part away to not get confused and we're gonna go ahead and start doing the installation of the new part I removed the two piece of styrofoam that cracked from the old uh, styrofoam part trying to find the right position for the new piece of styrofoam that way we don't have any uh, ventilation issue just compare the old one to the new one it looks the same exact thing trying to go ahead and uh, put the wires the same way we removed the old one and this is why I always say take a picture completely forgot so I had to go on my phone and because I took pictures before and after to be able to find out how the wires go and all that type of situation I'm going to take a look at the picture of my phone and I see how the wires go make sure I put it the right way install the uh, new piece of the styrofoam as you see it has a new it has a, a slag for the wiring trying to get everything right guys before I break anything so just be patient it all the wires where they go and try to secure them much as you can to avoid uh, any issues in the future put this piece of a phone seal the way it was 
the glue will still work if it doesn't work just try to use like spray glue or uh, silicone or anything that you can uh, super glue anything but for me it, it was still glowing so I just put it back where it was you see the wiring everything is in place Now we're gonna go ahead and try to, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, evaporator cover back on. Don't forget to connect the um, harness. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around because I uh, got my GoPro on my forehead, so it's it's a little complicated. As you see, try to sit it in place, and if you see, um, you gotta make sure none of the wires are in the way. Uh, for the uh, conduit f on the uh, on the uh, damper or the uh, um, air access hole. After you put the uh, damper and everything, set the uh, evaporator cover. Make sure it sits right, nothing gets in the way. If you have to force it, I mean, that means something is not right. So take it off and make sure none of the wires are in the way of anything. And we're going to go ahead and start installing all um, six screws that holds the um, evaporator cover panel. Go ahead and install the uh, cover for the evaporator fan motor. And remember, when you put this um, piece, remember the back part is held by that uh, tip. The it's a male to female uh, attachment and you just put it there push it back and it will clamp in place in the front you just put the uh, fillet screw and that will be secure Every time you see me turning off the light is because the alarm is driving me crazy. Now we're going to go ahead and start uh, reassemble everything. We'll start by putting the uh, top back panel. Now we're going to put the front top panel. Remember, on this piece, guys, it's a harness that controls the uh, touchpad and the uh, digital uh, touchpad. And plug the harness the way it was, fit it, fish it in place.
and that's the way it should be see I have to put it in place and go ahead and reinstall the two or one quarter make sure it's on um, when you see the digits there that means everything is fine one quarter screws Now we're going to put the um, uh, top glass with the um, drawer's frame and on this part you see is a, it's a gap there where it's a male to female again when that goes in and the male to female sits in place that means everything is uh, in the right way and everything is in place the right way now we're going to install the bottom drawer and as i was showing you early we have their male to female when that sits in place the yellow have to sit where the rare where the red um, is and that will be just fine Now we're going to go ahead and install the two drawers. And at this point, we pretty much uh, done. What you do is you press the two uh, light switches on the top and both to the fan motors will come on and you will not hear that noise anymore. this point everything sounds great thanks for watching if this video helped you in any way please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos thanks for watching